Hello, welcome to a video where we revise parametric equations for core 4 uh, maths A level in 5 minutes. If you need more help with this topic, do see the YouTube channel with detailed tutorials, but for now we're just revising in 5 minutes. Okay, what do you need to know? Well, what is a parametric equation? A parametric equation is when your x variable is given in terms of a parameter, let's say t and your y variable is given in terms of the same parameter t. For example, here would be a, a typical example for us. Um, x could be equal to, let's say, uh, 2t, and y could be equal to t squared. Now, the pair of these together are called parametric equations, and y uh, sorry, t even, t is called my parameter. So then when they're talking about parameter, okay? Similarly, um, you could have a different parameter. It doesn't always have to be t. For example, in this case here, we might say, we might use trigonometric functions, or we might say x is equal to, I don't know, sine theta plus 2, and y is equal to cos theta subtract 3. Okay, again, the pair of these are parametric equations and theta in this case is my parameter. Okay, so what's the point of these or what can I do with these? Well, at any given t here, I, if I know t, I can find out x and y by substituting them into these equations. Similarly, if I know theta, I can substitute in here to get what x is and substitute in here to get what y is. Going backwards, if I knew, let's say, x, what x was, I could find the t that made that true, and then I could use that t to see what the corresponding y is. And similarly here, say, for example, I knew that, uh, let's say, theta was equal to zero. In this equation, x therefore, uh, uh, sorry, if I knew, for example, x was two, say I knew x was two, then I would solve two is equal to sine theta plus two, so therefore sine theta must be equal to zero, and theta must therefore be zero, or pi, or two pi, etc. And therefore I could find the corresponding y's that match that, y at these points must be equal to, um, we'll say that was the first point there, say it was zero, y would then be equal to uh, cos of zero, which is one, take away three, which is negative two. So I could find the x and the y there. Okay, so what I can do is I can, given a parameter, a value for a parameter, I can find x and y, or given an x, I can find the value of that parameter and then find the other uh, coordinate. So I can do those. Uh, next, what's quite important, these are called the parametric equations. Sometimes you're asking questions to find the Cartesian form. Now, the Cartesian form uh, is the equation, so it's an equation with just x and y, and the parameter is eliminated. Parameter eliminated. Okay, so let's uh, look at the first case here. So case one, x is equal to 2t and y is equal to t squared. How could I eliminate uh, the parameter? Well, here are my two equations. From one, I could clearly say that t is equal to x over two, and I could substitute in two and get that y is therefore x over two all squared, y is equal to x squared over 4. That is the Cartesian form. Okay, and then the, uh, the other one, I had, uh, for example, 2, I had x is equal to sine theta plus 2, and I got y is equal to cos theta subtract 3. From this one, I could say that sine theta must be x subtract 2 and cos theta must be y plus 3. 
and using the identity and you always use a trigonometric identity for these trig ones using the identity that co uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 I could eliminate thetas by then saying x subtract 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 1 and this here is the Cartesian form it has x's and y's but no parameter in them anymore okay now the last thing I need to be able to do is differentiation with these and this is just applying the chain rule. Say I had x is a function of t and y is a function of t. In the case we had above, let's say we're going to use uh, x equals 2t and y equals t squared. Okay, then I, if I want to work out dy by dx, it's dy by dt divided by dx by dt. That's the formula we need to know and use. It's just the chain rule. Okay, so in our example here, we would work out that dx by dt is 2. We would work out dy dt is 2t here. And we would therefore say dy dx is going to be equal to 2t divided by 2, which is clearly t. And we could uh, work out the gradient at a point if we know the t value. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We uh, we do have to, um, so going on to exam style questions, usually uh, they're um, maybe uh, find uh, coordinates, etc. They might ask you to find coordinates when t or theta is something. They might also ask you um, uh, to find the Cartesian form. That's a common question. They usually ask you something about find the equation of the tangent or normal. And these are the questions where you use dy dx equals dy dt divided by dx dt and uh, use coordinates, etc. And last, lastly, what they can ask you is they can ask you integration questions. But we're going to do those. Uh, in two uh, other in another video so don't worry about this for this video so they're the type of questions you need to know how to find coordinates given a parameter or how to find um, corresponding coordinates using the parametric equations how do you find the Cartesian form various questions on finding tangents and normals to parametric curves and integration but we won't cover these in this section thanks for watching